This is the Batum 3 series by General Bites. Okay, you've received your Batum 3 and it's just sitting there, staring at you. You want to dig in. Who could blame you? But wait a second. Have you notified the sales department of receipt? They won't activate it until it's in your hands. So tell them, it's in your hands. If you haven't decided on a server yet, stop. Review the previous video for guidance. You'll need a server in the next video, and you should notify the sales department of your decision now. Take pictures and carefully note any tilting or damage to the packaging. It's better to have proof and not need it than to need it and not have it. Err on the side of caution. Take pictures to help your case if you later decide to file a damage claim against the transport company. Lastly, have you called a friend or recruited help? Do it. This beastly crate is over 400 pounds. You'll need someone to at least help you move it into place. I used furniture dollies, which works great with two people. Otherwise, you'll probably need three or four strong people to move it around. Or Chuck Norris. If you're receiving the machine by ground, it's shipped in this packaging. Air freight shipments are placed in this crate. It's lined with an additional sealed plastic sheath to protect against moisture and uninvited passengers. So, outside Europe, we'll need to reverse this crating process before we continue. First, remove the torque screws and take off the lid. Detach the sides and base to make this a tad easier. Cut away the outer sheathing. Take your time. Be gentle. With your assistance, bionic arms. Lift it up and out and stand it up. The bottom should be at room temperature before you proceed. In a perfect world, nothing will go wrong. If you set up your bottom on site, Murphy's Law guarantees failure. You know this. You will have problems when a customer watches. So do yourself a favor. Do it at the office or the warehouse. Carefully load it on a hand truck to move it to its testing location. Again, don't be silly. Get assistance. The Batum 3 has a high center of gravity. Be careful not to lose control and hurt it, or yourself. Finally, remove the cardboard shielding, and starting at the bottom, carefully cut away the inner shrink wrap. Be careful of the screen. Don't scratch it. You'll find the first key, the black key, taped into place here. That opens the bottom storage area here. Inside, you'll find the rest of the goodies here. These components are included with the Batum 3XL Plus. The kits will vary slightly between models. There are four sets of keys total, a separate pair for each lock. The blue keys open the top display door, the red keys open the outer vault door, and the green keys open the inner vault door. We strongly urge you to bolt the Batum to the floor. This machine could seriously injure or even kill someone if it was accidentally pushed or pulled over. Get some 4-inch lag bolts and washers and secure it tightly. Just be careful not to over-tighten the bolts. They can warp the base plate if you get a little overzealous. Use adhesive remover to wipe off any glue residue. Don't use acetone or any other harsh solvents. To clean the screen, we recommend distilled water, pure white vinegar, and a lint-free microfiber towel. Mix a 50-50 solution together, spray it on the towel, and wipe the screen. Then you can do your laptop, too. If you've ordered a Batum 3 with a dispenser, you'll receive these parts. They go together like so. Remove the dispenser cover plate, assemble the tray, then slide it through while holding the tamper prevention plate from the outside. It's much easier if you work from both sides of the door. Ambidexterity rocks. The stickers, if you choose to use them, go here, 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 and here. Now we're going to load the printer with paper. Plug in the Batum. Turn on the rear switch. Ignore the screen. We'll detail that setup in the next chapter. Unlock and open the top door with the blue key. Remove the yellow spindle cap and blue adapter from the paper arm. Now save the blue adapter. It's for paper rolls with larger cores. The initial roll that we include doesn't require it, but that doesn't mean you'll never need it. Make sure to resecure the roll with the yellow spindle cap. The paper is single sided, so you'll have to feed it from overhead. Load it like this. Lift up on the printer lid and slide the paper in. Close the lid and it should grab the paper and feed it through automatically. If needed, here's the feed button and LED indicators. 50 NFC cards are included. Additional cards are about 40 cents each. And this is a custom anchor designed to hold those NFC cards firmly against the feeder at the bottom. Load the NFC cards in the chute, place the anchor on top, and you're ready to go. 
This last piece is a cover plate if you want the selfie camera permanently obscured. Keep the tools handy in the bottom storage area in the event you need them on site someday. You can expect this unboxing to take a couple of hours, but now you've seen this video, you have a plan, so dig in. Next up, configuration.